Coming up, I review Rien from a top liver day on. Stay tuned, buddies. Welcome back, everybody. This is Joel The Nose coming to you from Miami, and today I'm going to do a review of Rien from Etat Libre de Orange. I believe this is number eight. I know I'm bad. This is either eight or nine in the series, so stick with me, guys. I'll put the correct number in, in the comments below. Uh, but when you've done so many, you start to lose track. Anyways, uh, this is Rien. This is from 2006. Uh, it's a unisex eau de parfum. Uh, this is the nose of the perfumer, like many others from this house, is Anton Lee, who you've seen, uh, maybe you've seen, I've done previous reviews, and I'll put up cards. I'll put up a card for uh, Tama Finland. He's also done Secretions Magnifique. He's done Divining Font. So a bunch of the ones that I really, really like. Um, and this is a unisex, although i got to say this is masculine to me. I'll get into the my... You know, my commentary below, and you'll see why I feel that way. Uh, 100 milliliter bottle is about $149 retail, like all most of the perfumes and fragrances from this house. Again, this is the French niche house, Etat Libre de Orange, and this is my series that I've been doing a bunch. By the way, if you want to see other ones and you want to find my reviews, just go into the playlist. You'll see I created a playlist for Etat Libre de Orange, so you can look at all my other reviews. 50 ml bottles, about $90. So again, very well priced for a luxury or niche fragrance. Uh, I, I love how they bring great quality for an affordable price that more people can therefore kind of try these niche niche fragrances. It's one of the reasons why I really like this house. Uh, okay, as I do in my other reviews, I try to I research and look and see, okay, what were they trying to accomplish with this fragrance? I got to say, this one, there's not a lot of a backstory here. Uh, if you look at the name Rien, it means nothing. It translates to nothing, so that's not super helpful. It's a little bit, you know, artful and, and abstract. Uh, if you read about it, again, on their website, they talk about this being a second skin perfume or a perfumer's confession. I found some other stories out there from Anton Lee talking about this fragrance, and what he was trying to do is really kind of create something where a lot of materials that are out there, raw materials that aren't necessarily used as frequently, or he wanted to use all natural materials. He wanted to create something that was unique, that was, again, a perfumer's, I guess, um, a perfumer's perfume. This is something that was more daring, taking a risk. But there's not a lot as far as exactly specifically what they're trying to do here. So I think they were kind of leaving this one open to interpretation. Now... It's classified as a woody, spicy, leathery fragrance. Um, the notes as listed are incense, rose, leather, orris, cystus, oak moss, patchouli, amber, cumin, black pepper, and aldehydes. I've also seen civet listed. So I think there is some civet in here also. Let's get right into it. I have it on a, on a stick here and I have it on my right wrist. I'll do first to the paper. Okay, I got there, and I'll go here. So, first impression. By the way, this is in the dry down. It's been on here for about an hour and a half now on my skin and the paper. Um, very strong, very masculine, very bright, very sharp, right from the beginning. This is a, uh, a fragrance that is in your face. This is something I would say be careful uh, because it is very powerful, there's a lot of projection coming from it, and it also is not your typical mass appealing fragrance. This is going to be something that's going to probably be off-putting to some, uh, because it is so strong. So when you spray it, I would not overdo it, because you may, especially if you're wearing it in the office or something like that, you, people may find it a little bit offensive. Um, it's very leathery from the top. The aldehydes come out. It's kind of, you know, a little bit sparkling, a little bit bright. Uh, I would describe it kind of like freshly oiled leather where, you know, it's, so the smell is really strong and, and intense. Uh, it's almost comes across cool. This is not warm. It almost comes across as not cold, but a little bit cool and very kind of, uh, again, a little bit peppery or spicy, you know. There is black pepper in here, so you're, I definitely get that at the top. Um, I would say that 
this is going to be a weird description here. It comes across to me as a little bit, uh, almost like glue or super glue. If you've ever worked with super glue or materials like that, when you know when you're uh, fixing things together, and it's a very kind of synthetic smell. Oh, sorry, my dog Jojo is watching me here. From <laughs> it's very funny. Um, it's so it's a little bit. I would say it's very kind of a synthetic smell. That's not bad, but you gotta you gotta like synthetic smells because this is to me very synthetic smelling. It's very sharp. It's very strong. Again, um, it's. I think it's it's gonna be. People are either gonna love this or hate this. This is not gonna be a fragrance again that's in the middle, mass appealing. You're either gonna love this on your skin, or you're gonna or you're gonna probably hate it. Um, I am in the 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 camp that it's not working really well on my skin. Uh, now, I don't love or hate anything because I try to keep very open minded about fragrances. Um, a lot of people are like, ah, I either love it or hate it. To me, things are much more on the spectrum. I'm just giving my view as a reviewer how I think people are going to view this. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, it is very unique. It's not something that I'm going to probably purchase, uh, but I could totally wear it, and I could wear a decant of it, and, and I think I would get enjoyment out of it. I, I thought I was thinking of something how to describe it, and with the Star Wars movie, the newest, latest Star Wars movie that just came out, this is something, picture if Darth Vader went to church for the first time, this is what he would wear, okay? Strong, Kind of plasticky, uh, you know, uh, synthetic, but leathery and old churchy vibe. That's what you got going on here. Um, and there's a slightly sweet um, underpinning from that rose coming in too. So I do think this is much more masculine. Uh, I don't think it's going to be, even though it's listed as unisex, I, I don't see many women pulling this one, one off. Uh, but anyways, that's... Uh, the projection is, is excellent. The longevity, like all these fragrances, is very good. You're going to get a full day's wear out of this. So on my skin, I do. But I would love to hear what everyone thinks. Uh, please leave some comments below if, if you've smelled this or haven't, uh, what you think about it. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, I would say please consider subscribing. I really appreciate those of you who have already done so. And I really appreciate taking, again, the time to watch this video. You could be doing a lot of other things. I hope Hope that you found this useful and a valuable uh, part of your day watching it. Uh, you can again like, subscribe, or ring the bell to get notifications of when new videos come out. This is Joel the Nose. Thank you very much again.